Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. I am going live a few minutes early today. Um, we we got everything working, so we're like, you know what? Let's let's get it started. So uh, my name is Lindsay Kometz. I am the managing director here at Apogee, and I am super excited to have Karen. Is it Durst? Durst. Durst. I knew I was going to mess that up. With me from the California Wine Club. Um, this is one of our legacy clients. We've worked with you guys for a lot of years. It was one that I was actually an affiliate for before I started working with Apogee. So I love this program and so excited to tell you all about it. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below, or if you're watching this on the replay or our YouTube, you can drop the comments and we will make sure we get you all fixed up. So Karen, thanks so much for joining us. Let's um, jump right in. If you'll tell us a little bit about you and the California Wine Club and how it all kind of came to be. Sure. Um, I've been with the California Wine Club now for, I don't know, 12 or 13 years. I am the content marketing director and uh, I, I um, put together I put together the content for our Uncork newsletter. I'll, but let me just um, say we're a very small company and so we have about 13 full-time employees. And so we really, it's, it's hands-on um, here at the office for all of us. So it's really a team effort. Um, our club is about 31 years old, which is um, we're one of the oldest wine clubs. And we were founded in 1990 by Bruce and Pam Boring. And they basically were frustrated trying to buy a bottle of wine at the grocery store that they liked. Um, they lived in Southern California, and so they knew from visiting wine country that they really enjoyed these small, um, small batch wines they could find in wine country, but they weren't able to find that in their local stores. And they just decided that if they were frustrated with this, that what they really wanted to do was to share the wines that they discovered when they were up in wine country with their friends. And that's kind of how the Cloudy Club started, friends sharing wine with friends. And we've I, just grown to perfect. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Um, I love that. So there, you have five different levels of the club, right? So, yeah. So we have Premier Signature. Um, you tell us about all of those. Sure. We started with the Premier Series. That's our oldest and, and most popular club level. And that is the small mom and pop wineries of California. And that is um, basically from everywhere in California going on up to... Um, to way up in the Sierra foothills to down to Temecula and uh, we but it's, it's all the smaller wineries and then for other club levels we have an international series which is basically the same exact idea except that we are going to countries uh, to, to wine countries like Spain or France or Germany or up and coming regions like like um, Tasmania or, um, or or South Africa and and it's but it's the same small mom and pop wineries. It's just global, mm -hmm. and the Pacific Northwest series, which is our, which is one of our newer series, is is also the same idea. It's it's these small mom and pop wineries of Oregon and Washington, which cool. the wine scene up there is just growing so fast. It's really exciting, and then we have our signature series, which is California wines, and but it's our upper level club, and so this is. For connoisseurs, for collectors, these are the very small batch, very highly rated wines that are super difficult to find. But um, but we, because we've been in business for 31 years, we, we know the wineries, we have access, and so we were able to get these amazing wines for our club members. And then we have our aged Cabernet series, which is really special because these are wines you will not find anywhere else. They're Cabernet Sauvignons from Napa Valley and Sonoma. And they have been aged for seven to 12 years or longer. And you won't find this, these kinds of wines out in the wild because wineries simply can't afford to hold their inventory that long normally. Mm -hmm. And wine stores, certainly. plus they need to be aged under proper conditions. And so this is really our top tier club level for when only the very best will do. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Kelly said, we've got some comments. Kelly said, do you prefer a red wine or a white wine? Oh, golly. Me personally, I like it all. I, <laughs> I, I, I red, pink, white. Oh, I've, I've, I, it, at, 
ask me, ask me which day and with what I'm pouring and what the temperature is outside and who I'm with, and it'll be something different. Well, and that's one of the reasons why this is so great, right? Because the, the clubs, so it, there's no membership fee. I'm, I'm skipping around here. Okay. So there's no membership fee, but you do get a variety every time. So you're not getting the same thing over and over and over again, right? Nope, nope, nope. We, and, and we source our wines from independent wineries. And so, so we're not making the wines. You're not getting the same thing over and over again. Like you, like there are some wine clubs that make their own wines. So we, we are, um, we're about the adventure. We think that people should be trying the, all the different varietals, um, all the different locales, um, just really making wine an adventure. I love that. Um, I also see that there's a case club series. So tell us about there that. That's, that also just kind of grew out of what members were requesting. And basically this is, you get a full case of wine, which is 12 bottles in each shipment. And you can have um, a shipment every four weeks or, or quarterly or twice a year, whatever, whatever suits you best. And, but it's, what you're going to get is, um, is four wines, three bottles of each, and that can be all red, all white, or a mix. And these are gonna be wines from California, or and there'll be some international wines and some wines from, from the Pacific Northwest. And, um, but this, this, is our, this is our best value club. And it does not include a newsletter, so you're not gonna get um, our full uncorked that we normally include, but, but what you are getting is, is really great wines at a really great value. And let me tell you, so the uncorked, that was one of the things we've seen it in the, the photos. You're a part of that. And when I got the box in, I was like, wow. So tell me, tell me about that. You are part of that, right? I am. Um, that is, we've, we've been publishing that since the very beginning. And, uh, and yes, that's, that's our, I believe it's um, 16 page full color newsletter. And basically I talk with the wineries and they provide us with information. And during COVID, it's been a little bit tricky, but typically what, we go out to the wineries and we take pictures and meet with everybody and conduct interviews. And it's, it's really very informative, or at least I try to make it very informative and uh, try to just include a lot of great information. What we want it to be is we want a lot of our members would do visit wineries, but they can't do it all the time. And so we want them to feel like they've been there and they've met the people and they've seen it and they've gotten to have the conversations. So we try to pull out as much information as we possibly can from the wineries to really share the experience. It really did feel almost personal to like be drinking the wine from the place where I'm reading all about. It was a really neat experience. Um, I, I love For that. Time. Yeah, I thought that was great. Um, so I did notice you guys tend to have kind of drier wines. Um, so how do you go about getting to choose like which ones make it into the club? Okay. Nobody believes us, but this is the hardest part of the club. <laughs> Truly, it's just uh, Jerry, it, Jerry tastes every single wine and we reject hundreds, and I'm not kidding, hundreds of wines each year. Um, we, 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 we do feature drier wines and that's because that's what our membership prefers. Mm -hmm. And that's, we've had members who've been with the club now for 20 plus years. So we're always, we're always very, very careful with what we feature because we want to be sure that we're impressing our members every time. Um, every wine that we feature has to be one that we, we would all pour at our own homes for our friends. Um, that's, that's our guarantee. And basically, um, Jerry tries the wines, our, sale, our, our, our team tries the wines, and, and um, sometimes we even broke Bruce and Pam in, but... but uh, <laughs> But we, we, we taste the wines and, and what we're looking for, it's not just well-made wines because, because most wines nowadays are well-made. We're looking for interesting wines, something with a little something special to them. And when we go to the wineries, what we're, what we're asking them for is not, is not their best seller maybe, but it's their special wine, the one that they love the best, mm -hmm. the one that they really want people to fall in love with. That's the wine we want for our members. We want the, you know, 200 cases of Tanat that they made um, just at, just because it, because they're in love with the varietal and they want other people to try it too. We want the wine from the special block in the vineyard where they babied the vines in a special way and really got something different and, and wonderful out of them. That is so, so cool. I can see it being the hardest and the absolute best part of the job. What a neat... It's so important to get it right. And yeah. so this is, I mean, this is what we're basing our names on so 
I love that. I love that. So um, one of the things that I loved about the wine club is that it is a membership, but there are no membership fees. Um, yes. and you can kind of, you can choose your cadence, whether it's monthly, um, let's see, we have every other month, quarterly, so you really get to be in control. Twice a year and and for um for it, it depends on the club because obviously in age cab you're always going to get red wines, but you can choose right. red wines, white wines, mixes. Um and we really want this to be about our members. And so we really have a we really try to customize as much as we can. I love that. Um, and then you can also, yeah, I mean, here we are. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. I'm just going to say no cancellation fees ever. And um, yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we, we're we absolutely not going to rope people into something and make them fill a contract. This is, we want, we want people to love this. I think, you know, it speaks to that you are doing good by the wineries, but also really taking care of your members. I think that's, that is something that sets the wine club apart for sure. You know, um, Bruce and Pam always said, and we've carried it forward as, 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 as Jerry Lynn has taken over. We want this to be a win for our members, a win for the wineries, a win for us. We want everyone to win. Yeah. We want this to just be good. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And, and this having the heart behind it is why I love these interviews because it's not just about the wine. There's so much more to it than uh, than just, just great wine, which you guys have for sure. I was a bit of a wine snob. I only liked sweet wines and I okay. ordered and I had the most amazing white. It, it like changed my whole opinion of drier wines. It was amazing. I, I meant to, was it? Look, I meant to look it up. It had a bunny on it. I, it I don't bunny. know what it was, but it had a bunny on it. It was from, it was from us. It was, it was probably, it was either probably, it would be from Coelho in, in, Oregon, or it would be from Rabbit Ridge in um, Paso Robles. It was a white, it was a white wine. Well, it, it could have been either. We featured white wines from both of them, um, but yes, there. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yes. That's great to hear. That's yeah. great to hear. Once you, that's what we want. Yes, it was amazing. I meant to look at, because I, I had the picture of the bottle and I, anyway, um, I, Speaking of rabbit, I just went down a rabbit hole. So let's talk about you have the option for subscription as a gift, which is great because we're in the holiday season. So yeah, tell us about well, that. I think we make a perfect gift because it makes people happy and you don't have to dust it. But um, <laughs> but basically, yeah, yes, for, um, for sure. For our gifts, again, um, you can choose to send one shipment. You can choose to send up, up to 12 shipments. Um, and you can... Um, have them have them ship every four weeks, every other month, quarterly, whatever whatever really really would suit your your um, gift recipient the best. We also have you can also start your gift in January if that's better if your people are traveling if you're not sure. Um, and so yes, we we definitely like think it makes a great gift. Yeah, I think so too. I love that you say you don't have to dust it. I love that. Yes, it's something you don't have to do. So my family and I actually started doing, um, we kind of backed away from gifts and unless it was, it all had to be food. So instead of like buying a thing, it was like food gifts. And it has been very, of course, I have a couple, you know, with a sense of humor. So we've had some funny food gifts, but this I think would be perfect for that because it's something that people are going to love. And yeah, it's consumable so that it's not going to collect dust. I love that. We had a member tell us the greatest story, and uh, and and um, I'll share it with you. Her sister gave that there are three sisters. The one sister gave the other two sisters memberships, mm -hmm. so that now they all have memberships, and they open the wines together on Friday nights because they live in different states, and they, but they all pour the wines and try them together and sit and they visit over the phone and they just talk about the wines and they talk about their lives and we just oh, that's I love just, that. I love That's that. Good purpose to have. Yeah, that is fantastic. My two best friends and I do wine down Wednesday, and be perfect. It sounds perfect. Yes, it's awesome. Um, okay, so let's see. So, are there any trends you see happening with small batch wineries? Well, 
I feel like like a lot of the trend toward improving quality is coming out of the smaller wineries um, because they're able to do things that they simply can't do at the large scale wineries. Right. It's too risky when you have to meet um, meet your quotas and, and fill the shelves. And so things like native ferment is becoming, um, uh, I, I'm hearing more and more about it. It may have always been happening, but I'm hearing more about it, wherein mm -hmm. they use the natural yeast that occurs in the vineyards rather than um, buying a yeast to add to the grapes, uh -huh. which can give you just, just different flavors come out. Um, so there's that. It's things like um, fermenting in different containers. Um, I'm seeing a lot of concrete coming in, especially like for white wines. Really? And the reason you, yes, and the reason you want to use concrete is that um, it allows a little bit of aeration um, during the fermentation mm -hmm. process, little minute amounts of, of, of air can get in. So it's kind of like barrel aging, but you don't get the oak. So if it's a wine in which you want, want to really capture the freshness and you don't want, don't want any oak overtones, concrete is a really nice option. Interesting. So things like that. Yeah. Things like that. I'm seeing more Spanish varietals in California. Um, Albarino, um, uh, Tempranillo, uh, which are becoming, becoming more um, grown, grown more widely. Uh, but you're just some really, some really neat options. Those varietals do very well in California. And, uh, and of course, the Pacific Northwest is just exploding. They're nailing down their terroir in different areas and figuring out what goes best where. And it's just, you know, you think of Oregon, you think of Pinot Noir. But in Southern Oregon, in the Rogue Valley, they're doing Bordeaux varietals. It's, it's, it's the Cabernets and the Merlots. And it's just, it's really interesting. I love how knowledgeable you are on this. That's Amazing. Oh, I, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you that. There's so much to know and I don't feel like I know much. Thank you. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about the affiliate program. So, um, and if Sarah will drop the uh, link to join. So insiders, if you are not already in the program, you can join uh, with the link that she'll drop in a minute. Um, and it's run exclusively on share sale. We've got a 15% uh, commission with a 90 day tracking gap. And let's see. And so I, let's see, ah, I'm messing up my own notes here. So, so yeah, so I haven't seen that link drop yet, but we'll see that. Um, so we talk about the key to writing posts that convert because our influence or our, well, influencers too, but our insiders talk about, you know, I, I create content, but how do I get people to really, click through and want to buy part of it, of course, is telling the story and the reason why the California wine club is the place to buy, but also solving a problem. So I think there is the link. So I think, you know, gift giving, um, people that want to learn more about wine. I mean, like I'm interested just because how much, you know, and being able to learn more about wines and the different varietals and locations and stuff like that. What are some other ways that you think that our insiders can help conversion? Well, our club is all about quality and service, and and um, we stand behind every bottle we feature. We have a we have a love it guarantee, which is we, we don't want you to just enjoy a bottle. We want you to love it. And so, um, if a bottle is ever broken or damaged or not to your taste, we'll replace it. And so, we're all about um, well, we're all about customer service. Uh, we we are a small team here in Ventura, and but we answer our own phones. We pack our own boxes, and we are are we believe in customer service. You don't find it a lot, I know, out in the world anymore. But we're really about um, taking good care of our customers. And and any and if if you if you um, bring customers to us, we will take good care of them. I think that's great. So it's it's supporting the small vineyards, but also you guys yes. staying a small company and you're able to focus more on, I think that's more important than just being able to throw out a whole bunch of wine into the universe kind of thing. Um, being able to take care of your members, your vineyards, that, that is great. I think you're focused on the right thing. Well, and we're, and we're, we're a little bit different than a lot of wine, a lot of wine clubs in that we are working with the small wineries. We are supporting them and supporting them supports the small vineyards. It supports the bottlers. It supports a whole chain of people. I mean, we're, we're not selling bulk wines. We're not um, bottling our own wines. We're, we're a small company supporting small companies. 
And I think those are the kinds of things to share that'll really set you guys apart that'll that'll help with that for sure. Um, is there anything else? And if, insiders, if you guys have any questions, you're welcome to drop those below. Um, we have just a few more minutes. Is there anything that you can think of that you would want all of your affiliates to know about the California Wine Club? We are stocked up. We have a warehouse full of winery and uh, we we are ready to go for the holidays. We are ready to ship. We are we are set up. We are good. Awesome. <laughs> no, no supply issues. Good deal. Uh, so, yes, but I would say start ordering. Um, yes. Yeah, for yeah. sure, because shippers are gonna are gonna be overwhelmed. But yes, right, yeah. we're gonna be relying on the on okay. the guys that are taking it across the country. So order yeah. now for sure. Um, yep. Let's see. Well, let's see. Um, I think that is it. We don't have any questions. This was fantastic. Thank you again so much for joining us. One more thing I meant to say, and I'm yeah, sorry. Absolutely. One more thing I'll add in. Uh, we have been working with ShareASale for quite a long time now. And if any of your affiliates, if they have ideas for products, if they have ideas for um, photos they need, offers they need, if, 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 there's, if there's things that we can do to help them sell, um, let us know. We're, we'll take a look at it and we, we can make a lot of things happen. We just had someone ask, uh, do you have wine? She says, I have trouble choosing wines because I love them all. <laughs> do you have wine experts who can help me? So oh, you bet. Okay. You bet. Yeah, um, our, our, our team, um, the, our team of, of um, wine consultants, they are really good at pulling out the information to help you choose the, the very best bottles for you and for your gift recipients. Perfect. So is that via email or you can do you can you can email info info at cawineclub.com. You can call um 1 800 777 4443. Um but yes, we're we're here and we're we're very happy to help you because that's that's we're our everyone in the company is is immersed in wine and we all taste the wines and we all um are happy to help. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Kara asked, do you offer recipe or food suggestions to pair with the wines you receive? So I think that was part of the uncorked, right? You bet. Yes. Yes, we do. And and basically when we're when we are are um, working with the wineries, we ask them for their family recipes. And we have on our website a recipe section, I believe. Oh, golly, I want to say there's over 500 recipes that we've collected over the years from different wow. wineries. Um, but they all have parent that they're all they all have pairing suggestions, and so yes, we definitely have recipes and 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 like I said, they're from the wineries. They're meant to go with the wines. So, so yes, perfect. That's terrific. Good deal. Well, thank you again so much, um, insiders. Again, if you have any questions later, you can answer. We'll make sure to get them over to Karen, or if you're watching this on our YouTube, um, thank you again so much for your time. We love, love, love working with you in this program. And um, yeah, let's rock the holiday. I'm excited to see. Uh, yeah, all the good stuff, all the good stuff. So thank you again so much. Insiders, we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye.